What's up everyone, Clueless Bushcraft here. Uh, welcome back to the channel. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on uh, what I've been up to. So you can see back here is uh, a chicken coop and a chicken run. Uh, I've actually been uh, raising uh, chicken. If uh, you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably already know this. Uh, I've had them for about maybe two and a half months now, I think, uh, if not longer. And uh, I've been running into new challenges, and it's been really, really interesting to kind of learn how to kind of raise chicken. Um, it's pretty simple for the most part, but then you do run into some challenges. Uh, right now, um, I'm running into a fly problem. So there's flies everywhere, and uh, I think it's because of like their poop or whatever. Um, and so I recently just got some uh, uh, like fly traps. Got this thing called trap and toss. I think you're supposed to put water and some chemical in it and just have it hanging up and they'll come in and get trapped in here. Otherwise I got this tape. Um, it's called a giant fly trap and you just it's 30 feet long you just kind of pull it out and they'll probably get stuck to it I think. So I actually have a total of 10 chicken. Um, the five that's in here are about 10 or 11 weeks now. Um, and I have uh, five more in my shed right now and they're about two or three weeks old. I'm actually raising the chicken specifically for meat um, because I want to go through the process of like raising chicken and then figuring out how to like um, process them for meat. Um, so the five that's in here are most likely going to be killed and processed um, in like two, maybe three months. Um, and I believe uh, the, the chicken that I have are speckled Sussex and um, I think Bantams or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but I'll keep some of them for eggs for a while, but I know for sure I'm not going to keep them until winter um, or through winter. I'll try to keep them during winter for a little bit maybe but I don't want to go through that process just yet because this this property doesn't really allow for like a good um, like a chicken setup and so this is just kind of my learning process I'm kind of just learning how to raise chicken and figuring out um, how to solve the, the challenges that occur um, and so at first I had to uh, build the coop which I did film, but it, the video got corrupted, so I don't have any of that footage. Um, but uh, it, it's been really interesting learning how to raise these chicken, um, getting their food, water, um, and uh, their nesting boxes and everything. I'll show you guys what I have set up here. So this right here is the chicken run. I have that door on the inside that opens and closes. Um, the chicken run was actually built after I built all of this and so that's why it was like this I think the best way To have done it was just have that boarded up and then have just a small box or window that I can slide up and down for them to go in and out, but This works for now um, This does open up um, But this kind of is stuck right now, but you got the coop in there. They have like a ramp that comes up to this section. So it's essentially uh, two sections here. And this opens up. And these are their nesting boxes. But the problem is they've been sleeping in this. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna get them like out of here and actually use this as a nesting box. Like I want them to lay their eggs there so I can just open it up and grab them But this piece right here can get moved out so I can clean all of this and get to the actual coop And here are the chicken That dark brown one is the fattest one right now that black and white one right there is the rooster I Didn't really have much of an intention of having a rooster, but I just happened to have one um I might process that one first. That light brown, golden brown one right there. I've named Bidoof 
because it's like the dumbest one out of the bunch. Um, in the morning, I open this up and uh, all four birds like come down, but she stays up on the, in the coop and just cries for like 15, 30 minutes until she finally comes down here. Otherwise, uh, yeah, the other birds are pretty smart. They're really cool. I want to pretty much process the dumb one first and uh, the, the rooster because I don't want the rooster to like crow in the morning. I know that I can put a collar around it to reduce its crowing I suppose but I don't necessarily need a rooster and we don't we don't really have a lot of predators here and I haven't seen any signs of predators come by. So I don't think that would be a problem. I don't need a rooster to kind of announce that there's a predator nearby. So I'll get rid of that one first. But this one's fat. Like that, that brown one right here, she's fat. But it appears that the flies are kind of gone right now. But this morning when I got over here, there was like hundreds of flies in this area. Um, and so uh, I think because the birds are out now, um, the flies aren't around anymore. So I still want to get this set up though. Because uh, the flies will be back, I'm sure of it. So let's figure out how to do this. I just, uh, so basically what I'm going to have to do is take this packet, open it up, put it in here, fill it up with water up to here swish it around and then uh, turn it over and hang it up and then flies would probably come through here and get trapped and they'll die in here um, so yeah I'm gonna get this set up and uh, see how this works out so I opened up this pouch and then there's another pouch on the inside smells really weird. Okay, so I need to open this up also. Right. So we're just gonna flip it over slowly. There you go. <clears throat> and now I'm just going to hang it up. And let's check this one out. So I'm assuming this one is simpler. All you do is just remove it and pull this out. Yeah. So I'm just gonna open this up. I'm gonna run it along the top of the, um, the run here and then uh, tack it down and uh, see if I can catch some flies. Do one strip like this for now and I'll see how well it works uh, compared to this one right here. So yeah, I'll leave this as is and uh, I'll come back to it in a little bit. Alright, so after about 10 minutes, still got nothing in here. I decided to put it on top of the run because it works still because there's holes at the bottom, I suppose. But this has been working. So that got stuck. There's another one right here that's stuck. And this one just got stuck too. Yeah, so the sticky trap seems to be working a lot better so far. I still got nothing in here. All right, so this is actually the following day. These are two new ones. Uh, the first one that I put up, I've already taken down and it was filled like this. So you guys can tell this is pretty successful.
There's a ton of them. But this one right here didn't work at all. You didn't catch any flies. It got some like mosquitoes in here floating around, but that's basically it. Yeah, so this right here, don't buy it. It doesn't work. This works pretty well. So I'm pretty happy about this. The chicken are beginning to uh, understand that when I open up that gate right there in the morning, they just come rushing out. Um, and so that's really, really nice. All right, that's it for today's video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please hit that like button. Uh, it helps the algorithm. It shows the video to more people. Plus, I'll try to make some more videos here on the progress of the chicken and the progress of my gourds. Um, they're doing pretty well. Um, I've got other projects that I want to do too that I want to document and share with you guys as well. Um, please follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I'm pretty active on those. I post pretty much daily as far as on Instagram. Um, I post in the stories often. And so a lot of the stuff that uh, I do on a daily basis, you'll see there. Um, I'll try to save them in like the featured stories or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Take care. Peace out.